Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jen. Thank you for stopping by. So today I wanted to share with you guys how to make these DIY pacifier clips. Um, so this particular clip is from the Wish app, but I did show the ones that I made in my baby haul number one. If you like, I can go ahead and link that um, in the iCard so you can check that out. And this is a pacifier that my son is currently using and loving. He was using this one for a short time, but he did outgrown it. This is the newborn one. And we are going to go ahead and upgrade him to a bigger pacifier. So this is the ones that we are going to be using. And what you'll need to make these pacifier clips are obviously whatever pacifier of your choice. Let me go ahead and turn this off. The pacifiers of your choice. If the pacifier has these round knobs right here, you can add the clip to this section or you can get the cover that goes here. And this is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and open it. And this is what it looks like. These pacifiers already bring one. It's that section right there. But if your pacifier looks like this, this is one that we had tried. I got this in one of my free baby boxes. He did not like this at all, but I wanted to show you an example. So if your pacifier has a hole, you can put it in through here. Or if it has one of these little knobs, you can either put it into the little hole or you can get one of these and then the clip will go on this little section right here. All right, so you will need your pacifier clips and then your little plastic like adapter type of things. You would need your cording. This is from the Dollar Tree. This one is from eBay. I got these super, super cheap on eBay or you can get the cording from Michaels. And anytime you buy something from Michaels, you will always use the 40 or 50% off coupon to lower the price. These are all of the beads that I have in my stash. So these beads right here, the flat ones are all from eBay. These round ones, are all from Michaels. The wooden ones and these little gem-like ones are all from Michaels. The clips are from Michaels and these clips are from eBay. So, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to select your colors and your patterns of what you want your pacifier clip to on shaped beads and then they use brown beads so you want to select your beads and place them down in the order that you want them to look on your clip so we're going to do that i also want to go ahead and show you this little guy right here he is i believe like a little bear or a little koala this is a teething ring so if you are um, wanting to do a teething ring it's the same exact steps instead of putting the pacifier clip at the bottom you put your teething ring um, at the bottom but Eli is not at the teething stage yet so I just wanted to see what this was like what it felt like if it was soft enough if it had any like chemical smell so this is a sample that I wanted to pick up before I committed to purchasing from this seller. all right so I'm gonna do all shades of blue so this is what my pattern is gonna look like I think I'm gonna go darkest we're going to do darkest to lightest with the spacer of the white bead. So I'm using the eBay flat beads, the Michaels round beads. Here. And I think I want to make mine pretty long. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in. I want to make mine pretty long because this is actually going to be attached to his car seat. We have lost three pacifiers so far in the car I don't know where they go maybe they roll under the sea and then we never find them so I want to make mine pretty long but you can make yours as long or short as you want so I'm gonna do right here so I'm gonna add another bead right here and I'm going to add 
Um, let's see. So white, brown, three, white. Oh, I will be right back. That is my cue. Okay, so this is the pattern that I think I'm going to go with. So white, wood, three, so three dark blue, white, medium blue, muted blue, light blue, just like this. And I hope it's long enough to go from the car seat side strap. So I'm going to take my cording and I'm going to use the elastic cording from the Dollar Tree. And you can make yours as long or short as you want. So I'm just going to quickly burn these edges right here so that it doesn't fray. Just be very careful and literally do it for a second. So you want to just burn it and then just flatten it for a quick, quick second. Okay. So the way that we're going to attach, obviously I'm going to cut this down to length. Oh, the baby is up again. All right, so he's waking up a little bit. So I still have a few minutes before he's like fully awake. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our bottom piece of our clasp and we're just going to pull our cording through just like this we're gonna pull it we're gonna pull it super super tight and then we're just gonna keep making little knots I'm gonna do about three knots so I'm just going to keep and I'm going to try to push the knot in as tight as possible. So that has a huge gap right here. I don't want that. So I'm just going to, I'm not very good at making knots. So it usually just takes me a few minutes to get the spacing. Let's see. Okay. So that's much closer. So that's what that looks like right there. One more and try to get it right on top of that one. Let's see. I'm going to try to get it right on top to make it nice and tight and secure. All right, perfect. So that's oh, so that's what that looks like right there. And now we're just going to start threading our beads in. So I made a second one and this is the pattern that I decided to go with. Now this cord is from the Dollar Tree and this is from eBay. This one is from Michaels and it's no good. It was still fraying. It was still separating. This is like a braided material if you can see. So I don't suggest this one. Trial and error. So learn from my mistakes do not get this one try to get a satin one or an elastic -y one like a stretchy one or a satin one those are smoother to a uh, feed through the holes of the beads shop one now we are going to make the loop this loop right here we're gonna make this loop right here to be able to attach our pacifiers or our teethers till the end so just looking at this just look at this one, there's a little knot right here, and then they make another loop right here. So that's what I'm going to try to do with this one. 
I am going to, let's see. Oh, I'm going to through. And before the video, I'm going to show you. I am going to try and make a loop like this. So I'm just, I'm trying to make it as, pleasing to the eye as possible. I don't want like a whole bunch of strings. So I'm just taking it, I'm wrapping it around about three fingers. I'm just going around. Let's see. I'm just going around the loop twice and then going to try to make a little knot right here. And I want to try and pull this as tight as possible. All right, so I'm just like pulling that super, super tight. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now what I would like to do is cut this part off. I would like to cut this part off as close as possible so that I can burn the edge and hopefully feed it onto this first bead. So let's see. So I'm going to cut off about this much. There's a tiny little bit of space that I can try and put it in through here. So let's see, but I think that came out super cute and it's so easy to make and customize what your baby wears. You can have one for like the basic outfits that he wears with the different colors. So I'm gonna try to burn this part off. Be careful. Gonna burn that off. And let that cool for a little bit. I'm gonna flatten it and I'm gonna try to tuck it into the bead. Really, really hard. If you have like some kind of needle or paper clip or something, that might be super helpful. Okay, so I got the first one in. Right, so it's really hard for the th the other one to go in because again we have a we have two of these and then I have a third one so the fourth one is not able to get in. So what I'm going to try to do is cut it a little closer. If you use a bigger bead like with a bigger hole at the top you'll be able to do it but the hole that I have I don't know the measurements like this is just like a little hobby. You know, I'm not like a professional pacifier holder maker <laughs> but I'm going to try to cut this closer and then burn it okay I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that super quick okay okay so I was able to burn it if that would focus and make it super Okay, I'm just going to burn it one more time because I really don't want it to come apart. But I'm going to do it quickly so that it doesn't turn color, like it doesn't turn brown. Okay, that's perfect. How cute is that? Now with this one, this one is super stretchy. Like I have all of this. So... Let's see how big this is. Let me see if I can just add some more right here. Let me see what I have.
super fast, super simple. I made this one really long because it's going to go on his car seat. And then this one will be attached to his clothes. And I just quickly want to show you guys what the prices are for these on eBay. Again, I recommend eBay over the Wish app because eBay is really good with making sure that you get your product or you get your money back. As far as the Wish app, it's very hit or miss and you have to pay shipping per item. So that's really inconvenient when you want to make these as gifts or you want to make a bunch of them for your baby. So I just want to show you the prices. So, so cheap. Let's see if my camera will focus. So $3.19 for the safety clips, $2.41 for the blue clips, $2.42 for the brown white and gray ones 241 for all the different blue ones 241 for the uh the clear these things right here and then 206 for the teether and 199 for the um the cording so before I add the pacifier clips, if you wanted to add the teether at the end, it's simple. You would just loop this strand of beads. This one is going to be pretty tight, but you would just loop your strand of beads through the hole of the teether. And that's what that looks like so cute and then if you wanted to use this on your pacifier let's see this is his favorite pacifier so we're just gonna take this out we can Loop this one through here. Okay. Now he can have these. If you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you like this content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.